show you that I'm not the one who's late? <laughs> Hell has begun. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Now, uh, this was gifted to me from a fan today, and I thought it was so awesome, I'm going to show it off. I realized very quickly that it's, it's warm to wear all the time, but it's awesome. I'm going to keep it. Shut up! And also, Lisa, are you out there? Lisa? She had to go to a photo op. I only sat at I told Lisa. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Sir Hunter. And it's funny, like, I mean, 
like any job, there's, you run into people who they can't not care. And he was one of those people. Like, he just couldn't not care. If something was not right, he had to say something. And um, a couple times he maybe overstepped his body. Oh, he got fired. <laughs> <laughs> and then he fired the talking director fit to do. <laughs> but yeah, he, he was like, why am I so fucking like that? Like, no. I'm like three years old. I'm a fan. Laura. I'm just practicing my cursing. Good, Michael. Sam asked the people you were, that were here yesterday, remember when I told you there would be different takes when I was here? Yes. Oh, well, we had to have some fun here. We had to line things up. Sam, what, what was your favorite funny thing that happened on set? Yeah. I was it when you passed out? Or yeah, she passed out? Oh yeah, I passed out. That was fun. You passed in? I passed in. I'm a Canadian. She passed in. I was in the in the harness of Supergirl, and um, they had me hanging up there too long, and it cuts off your arteries. I didn't know I that. Told her not to pass out. Tom did tell me, but I, I didn't want to get fired, so I stayed up there. And uh, yeah, I passed out. Were you like this or what? Yeah, no, I was hanging, and then the next thing I know, I'm on the ground and everyone's around me. And she went like this. She went, no, I'm fine. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going down, because I was on the ground. And my stunt double, he wouldn't let me stay there long because he kid. So, <laughs> I don't know who your stunt double was, but he, like, I get there, and he'd be like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. He's like, no, you're coming down. Even for 30 seconds, I think they got to be a total war. I'm talking about the session. Yeah. No, don't let this happen to you. If you feel faint, tell them. Don't worry, don't feel guilty that you saw anything down. She goes, no, I'm fine. And it was almost as if I looked over here and looked better here and she was like, <laughs> hanging like 40 feet in the air. Passing out is no fun. Sam, have you ever passed out? <laughs> Every night, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's super sad. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> um, yeah. I, aside from does passing, anybody ever remember? Hey, God, Sam said something. Oh, Sam, real quick, do you ever? Do you remember passing out? Like, like every moment, <laughs> every well, you, horrifying you, moment. You wake up and you're like, oh, shit. What did I do? Did I A funny thing that happened to me at, on the set of Smallville was, do, um, do you guys remember how often my character was naked? Do you guys remember that? I do. I do. <laughs> but I, but I, what I don't remember is your character having to pull something. Yeah, it was good for the show. Yeah. So, so there was this shower scene that was coming up where Davis showers off all this blood and he figures out none of the blood is his. And whose blood was that all over me? That's so weird. So this scene was coming up and I'm about to leave town and I was going to come back in a few days and shoot the scene. And right as I'm about to leave town, some producer guy goes, Hey Sam! And I'm about to go out the door to, the, you know, to go to the airport. He's like, Hey Sam, what would you say if I asked you to shave your chest? And I'm like, I'd say that I gotta go catch a plane, but you're welcome to try talking me into it in the next few days. And so then he never, you know, he's like, I'll call you. And then he never calls me. So then, days later, I'm on set, naked, shooting a shower scene. And then a producer comes in and they go, Why is Tom Welling here? He's not in this scene. <laughs> Tom is, why is Tom in the back of the shower and the shot? Now, why is he out of the shot? Um, so he's like, Your chest is not shaving. And I'm like, I know. You said you would shake your chest. I said, no, I didn't. I never said. I said you guys would try to talk me into it. Oh, it leaves. <laughs> and then a different. And then I'm shooting more shower scenes. And then cut. And another producer comes in. And then he goes, Oh, I thought it was gonna be like Chuck Norris. It's fine. But he leaves. <laughs> and then another. And then I'm shooting more shower stuff. And then another producer comes in. And he goes, Oh, I thought it was gonna be like Tom Selleck. You're fine. And, he leaves. <laughs> and then. And then a producer that she'll go unnamed. But Tom, and, and you know, and yeah, he comes in and he's raring to shave some chests. He's like, said you could shave your chest, and I'm like, I never did. He's like, okay. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, Chuck Norris, but you listen, shave your chest. And we had this whole argument about shaving your chest. So basically, it was a mid shower chest shave while we were shooting the scene. Probably the best way to get your best negative performance is to have everyone coming in. Leering at you and your chest hair, which wasn't even that big. They made you shave mine. Yes. I everybody had to shave their dress. I, did, I did too. It was like, it was like <laughs> I didn't really want to take this off. Because it was a rule on the show. <laughs> was it really no hair allowed? Well, I mean, for guys, 
like, you know, Smallville. No one had Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor should definitely not have hair in chest. But if you just shave your eyebrows, I'm like, boom, oh, oh! You know what they said to me? I said, I said, let me ask you a question. Is the chest hair thing because these characters started in high school? It's a rule on the show. I'm like, yeah, I know. Is that because the characters started in high school and shouldn't have chest hair, but now they're like 38? And you should have chest hair? And he's like, no, it's because that's a rule. And then the makeup lady is like, that's exactly what we have here on the show. He just doesn't know. And I'm like, do you know what it really was? It was him going, because it turns me on. It turned him on. That shave. I'm not asking you to shave for the show. <laughs> All right, who's got a question here? Let's get it going. Ignore, ignore while I videotape this. Connor, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. It's my friend Connor, right? Good to see you, man. I love you. All right. Um, let's go here. What, what was your name? Summer. Summer's question. I'm super loud. Summer. Summer's question was for Laura, and uh, by the way, Summer, I just want to let you know from up here, it looks like you're like flipping us off, though. <laughs> but you're not. It's cool. But her, her question was for Laura, and she said yesterday you mentioned that you that you're interested in directing. So what are you working on right now, directing wise, or in front of the or in front of the camera? Not a, not a lick of dialogue. Mark, why are you doing 
doing in my mansion, Clark. Here. Chop your head off, Clark. You and your freaking superpowers. Oh, um, <laughs> any Chuck Norris film, because I just want to see more chest hair. <laughs> Let me see the chest now. Can I see the hair? You want to see it? Yeah. Check it out. I want to call out the producer and be like, look at me now! He's <laughs> got some hair. Does he have more chest on his hair than you know on your back? Luther crossed with young Bruce Wayne. That would have been fun. 
but we just weren't allowed. And I'm not hating on anybody for that, but that's why it didn't happen. By the way, I would have loved to have a character. Who is Lex's uh, henchman? Is uh, Otis. 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 I would have loved to have Otis. By the way, Sam knows that. We, we, we had an Otis in Supergirl. Yes. Oh, really? Uh, oh, he was great because the... <laughs> Because he played it, he, he played it like a military guy, but every now and then he'd say, he's just a the door. And I'm like, oh, that made me cool. Yeah. And, then, and then John Cryer, uh, you know, got a chance to scream at our test mocker. He got a chance to say, this test mocker! So, <laughs> he's great. All right, next question. Well, we didn't hear him. Yeah, what was the question? It's so over. It was, it was which, which character didn't. Here on Small Woman, they wanted. Yeah, who was yours? You guys have even the Catwoman. No. Did you? No. Catwoman. And I'll pick. We had the blue canary or whatever, though. Yeah, the canary, yeah. Black canary. Blue. Okay, so now we have Kim, and her question is who the panel? In the beginning, you guys started doing the DVD commentaries and stopped. Why did you stop? Doing a DVD podcast. Go ahead, Tom. <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> That's literally. I, we were. We, I, for me, again, I'm increasingly hating talking about how hard it was or challenging. But people. you did work so much that you didn't have time to do that. I, I just didn't have time for it. And when you, when it's like you guys all have jobs. You guys are all overworked and like. Feeling like you're doing more and you should be paid like and then on Saturday morning they want you to come and do four hours of talking about the show. And I'm like, no. Oh. I mean it's that simple. I just but now, taking a step back, I mentioned this yesterday, we should do a science mystery theater. Will we get cast members? Yes. And we watch episodes. <laughs> now I'm happy to do that. But when I just finished work on 6.30 Saturday morning and I have to be back at work at 5.30 on Monday morning, the last thing I want to do is see anybody that I work with. Thanks. We're talking about it. So that's why I did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we did it for the first few seasons and then it just, you know, it was like, all right, we, we, did it. we don't need to keep doing commentary for the rest of the seasons. But we always did a lot of uh, funny stuff. You can see me doing a bunch of those outtakes and things. I always had fun doing that. And I think people were shocked because they were like, that's the new place yeah. that's Luther? He's farting again? <laughs> was, was that really him? Yeah, yeah, but anyway. But I think doing the commentary now would be interesting because we forget so much of it. We'd be watching it and go, oh my god, I forgot right. that happened. Yeah. You know, we relive it. Yeah. My favorite memory, one of my favorite memories from Small Bells from Jonathan Taylor Thomas. GTT. Yeah, I'm telling you, I knew this kid was famous. I was a little starstruck when I met him. I'm like, he knows what he's doing. And anyway, he's on a gurney, or Michael's on a gurney, and Jonathan, Jonathan Taylor Thomas finally has him. He's taking him in some. Michael just rips him apart. <laughs> and you can see. I think it's on an outtake that you can actually see. Yeah. And Jonathan Taylor Thomas just. It's just him trying to hold back laughing. Is that really do? There's like no air circulation in here. But I just was locked because there was this like cage around me and I'm trapped there. The director's like going, just another take, just another take. And I'm like, uh, well, it's going to happen eventually. And it's on like metal, like, you know, metal, old metal. You get ricochet. Old steel. And he's just talking about something, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> it's just like one of those things that's like... I'm not going, man. Sometimes you just like, gotta let it go. I always had fun. Next. It was fun. It was fun. Right, from Lisa right here, she asks each cast member that's Lisa, the one who keeps blinking when you say smile. Like one, two, three. Yeah, I remember Lisa. Yeah, watch out. Any of you have photo ops with Lisa, go on two, not three. We took ten pictures before she. What? And finally she got one, but she's like this. I'm like just completely shocked. And they're like, we got to do another one. She looks like someone stabbed her. So, but we got it, Lisa. All right, what's your question? Sam's gonna answer first. 
<laughs> Her question is, for each cast member, what's your favorite episode? Sam. Favorite <laughs> episode. Oh, I'd get it. What is it? Naked. <laughs> it was a great one. It was a great one. What was it called? It was called Naked. And it was about my character being naked. Shaving his chest. Laura? Was it Fracture, the one where I had amnesia and ended up at the diner? I have I was like, yeah, she's asked, she doesn't remember about an episode she doesn't remember. <laughs> so that one, yeah. Yeah. You know, there's there were some good ones that I remember. I don't I, I remember Lexness is nice for Lexness was really a great episode where it was like if Lex had a good life and you know, it was normal and that was sweet. Uh, the pilot episode, man. Shit, that, that was when I first saw the pilot, I just was like I had never done anything this good. It was just so exciting to see. I was like, it was the beginning of my career, really. And, um, you know, that meant a lot. And I also, the one where I split in half and I get to, like, say, I am the villain of the story to uh, your parents. I don't remember. Remember when I nailed it to and I go, you were right about me all along, Mrs. Kent. I am the villain of the story. Remember that? That's a great line. I don't remember. I would say 
uh, Adina from Sorority Boys. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that. I had so much fun doing it. It's just the most fun I've ever had. Even though the movie didn't do well, it came out cool. I, I enjoyed it all. I, I played a bartender in Fight Club that got cut. I'd like to redo that. <laughs> That's not true. No, it's not. Oh, I was excited for that. <laughs> Yeah, answer. None of uh, my answer is none. I don't I mean Dude, draft. Draft it. Draft it. Draft it. Yeah. I, but I wouldn't I would do something you could do something different. I would do something different about that. But you're right, I would do something different. Yeah. I just want cheaper by the dozen. I want to do cheaper by the dozen three. Yeah. And I want Charlie what, so let me pitch you guys see if this is a good answer. Charlie. Grew up in a family with all these kids, right? He's newly married, they were pregnant, they weren't trying, they were, you know, excited, they have the baby, then they have the, you know, you find his, him with one, two, maybe three babies, whatever it is. And even though he was growing up with all these kids, he's now sort of, uh, he, he's having trouble handling it, and all his family members come back to help, in a sense. And I think that would be really great. So, if any of you know anybody who can make that happen, it would be great. It would be like cheaper by the by the like three hundred. So a lot of people would be up. Three dozen. Next question. Our next question is from Ella right here, and she asks Milo. Uh, hi Ella. Hi Ella. Hi Ella. How are you, Ella? Ella, what's your question? So very cute, Ella. It's, it's really nice to meet you, Ella. She's dressed up as Lana. You're Lana? Like, 
Yeah, you don't even need to. Like, Nowadays, you go to set and you're like, I'm wearing a black shirt, blue jeans, and I'm having a scene. Next thing you know, I'm wearing a Superman suit on TV. You just put it on you. That's true. Nowadays, you don't even have to work out, which is kind of cool. They're just like, yeah, don't get a trainer. We'll just put that suit on you. You look, you look huge. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> just go like this. Hey, I'm this guy. Where would you win? I got you. You're not dressed in the suit, you don't look good. Ask Michael Keaton about that. He'd be like, no, why would I do that? That sounds like you went first. Hey, you don't know. Why would I do that? I say, I'm that man. I don't know. Say, say, say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't take my shirt off. I don't know. I'm walking. I don't take my suit off for no one. What? What? I have a question for, for, for our guests. What impressions do you? Laura? Laura. You do an impression. Do you? I got it. Well, you do a pretty good mocking. I think you can mock him pretty good. She mocks me pretty good. I don't know, Tom. I, I mean, I, yeah. We would, first of all, Michael's the best at all of this, and I only got to swim, but there's like Christopher Walken, there's um, obviously uh, Ken Reed, there's um, Kevin Spacey trying to do Al Pacino. I don't even remember. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, he did it once. He goes, I'm not doing Al Pacino, but I'm doing Kevin Spacey. No, he would do this whole thing. No, damn it. Listen to me. He would do this thing. You, know, you in the front row. No, Connor, damn it. You're not supposed to be here. Everything he says. I don't know. It's been a while since Spacey. Can you remember? I mean, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, Clint Eastwood in the line of fire, he says. Can I swear? Yeah. Yeah. Kids, put your put your earmuffs on. Kids. Is that it? Is you have a rendezvous with my asshole, motherfucker. <laughs> and then that was Eastwood, and then now it's just no. What you couldn't possibly know, Frank, is that they sent my friend, my comrade, in arms to my home to kill me. I never lied to you, Frank, and I never will. So, uh, a little bit, right? Yeah, and then um, walking. I've always done walking. Yeah, your son. <laughs> Fuckhead that he is. <laughs> he took my narcotics. <laughs> now, I know you know where they are. So tell me, before I do damage, you won't walk away from me. I haven't killed a man since 1984. Anyway. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't leave the house. <laughs> watched movies and memorized lines and didn't have a girlfriend and was the shortest kid in my school and that's what I did. But I, uh, oh. No! I, but, but, like, that's how I learned all that stuff. I would sit oh, there and I had this watch on my ass for 27 months. <laughs> oh yeah? Like, there, there, it's a fun acting exercise and any of you want to be actors or whatnot, it's a fun exercise to do, to practice your lines Differently than, it, than you did someone else, like whether it's a woman or a man or, or, a, accent. or a Western yeah. or accent or an actor. And it's just do it all different crazy ways. And then when the camera rolls, you're just free. So that's a quick little acting lesson that I would ask me for. Everybody try this. Talk from the back of you, like this, like in the back of your throat. Like this. Everybody say, your son. Your son. Your son. Your son. Your son. He's a bastard. He's a bastard. <laughs> Say, Dragon Con. Dragon Con. Con. Sing it like it's the last thing you're ever going to say. <laughs> right? One, two, three. It's the last thing you're ever going to say. One, two, three. Wow, you guys are dying. I've never seen it. I know, it keeps the fear up. <laughs> I 
Anyone from the deer hunter? I don't know if you guys see that. Deer hunter, hello. Anyone from the deer hunter? I like the trees. I like the trees. 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 I like the trees. Oh! Because it's the first time Walken does Walken. Have you ever seen Deer Hunter? Throughout Deer Hunter, Walken's like, Hi, Christopher Walken, how's it going? But then there's this part where he's like, Why are you doing? Why do you go out and hunt? I like the trees. <laughs> and you can imagine he's watching it, he's like, Yeah. Now I can make a whole career out of that. <laughs> That's right! So from the yeah, that's it. Why would I do that? Like that right there. So there's a this is this, this is not a Christopher Walken panel. Christopher, <laughs> go on, go on YouTube and look up Christopher Walken baking a chicken. Okay, <laughs> it's amazing. Second of all, I'm gonna put you on the spot because you did a movie that I love called Pujol Junkies. <laughs> and you told me a story about Christopher Walken showing up for a couple days of work, and what did he want to be called? Well, I went up to him and I just said, hey, uh, oh my god, Michael Rosenbaum, I'm really nervous to work with you. Should I call you Chris? Should I call you Mr. Walken? And I swear to god, he looks at me and he goes, I don't know. Let's call me Flash. <laughs> just walk off. And, uh, Mr. Walken, uh, I'm sorry, Flash, uh, we're ready for you on set. Like, it just, like, I remember he signed my seat. I go, would you sign this? He goes, what would we sign it? I said, yeah, would you sign this? What would we say? <laughs> I said, Chris Walken is like, no, my name. <laughs> and I go, I don't know, 2000, because the movie goes, 2000. <laughs> and, you know, being on set with his inflection, I used to come on set just to watch him work. And there was a, there was a line, when we as actors read lines, we don't think, like his line was, you said it, Joe, and he's something, anything. You said it, Joe, and he comes in there and goes, oh, you said it, Joe, bet it all. If I read the line, I'd say, you said it, Joe, bet it all. He comes in there and goes, you said it, Joe, bet it all, bet it all. Yeah. Everything's up and down, you're just like watching him read these lines, you're like, what is good? And he's, uh, yeah, he's awesome. Awesome. It was like I was still a kid, I was like 26 years old. It's a, it, it's actually, and it's a good movie, and the guy who's the lead in it directed it. Yeah. And it's, it's worth watching. I don't think he gets enough credit. Yeah. It's a good movie. Cool all junkies if you're more. There are, there are actors who could say almost any line, and it sounds kind of great. Uh, Morgan Freeman is one of the Schwarzeneggers, and other. Yeah. Weirdly. You know. Yeah. That's probably my shoe. You know, like if Morgan Freeman played Davis Bloom in Smallville. When I'm out on Chloe, sometimes just being around you, it helps to quail. Why, that's like Tom Superman working on here from Krypton to destroy you. Jehovah's <laughs> Eyes is my father. I remember the first time I met Clark. That's right. Clark was a man wearing a red jacket. And then, and then Denzel Washington walks in. He's like, okay, all right, okay, all right, let's go. <laughs> King Kong ain't got the big time. He's talking to his son of the NSS. Me, the Quasar, go ahead now. I love it! Good question. Who's got a question? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that much. Well, it's been 27 months. But my question is for Laura. Ooh. And your name is... Uh, her name is Olivia. And the question is, when are you going to work with your niece and nephew again? As a director. Are you asking because I was doing those videos during, yeah, the beginning of COVID, I was taking care of them for ever. Uh, <laughs> we thought COVID was going to be two weeks. I've been there for a year and a half. Um, they're lovely. I love them. I just don't want children now. Um, no, I'm kidding. Not, not really. 
but I would do these videos with them where I'd edit together different things that they would do and make them action heroes and it made them happy. So is that that's kind of where the question came from? Yeah, I don't I don't want them to get into acting, but I'm pretty sure my niece is gonna be a comedian, so who knows? I'll have to think about that. Thank you, Olivia. I'm uh, just taking a picture. <laughs> I was wondering if it was a selfie, because that would have been surprising. It's a selfie. It's a picture of a lovely fun. Is, is that a TikTok? I don't do the TikTok. I'm on TikTok, but I've never met a TikTok. Laura does. Is this a TikTok moment? I, I just joined it. I don't, I don't know. No, I don't so. Tom did one with me and Sam this morning. Yeah. Should I do was it that? Good? On the green screen? Was that like a TikTok? Because we weren't sure what a TikTok was. <laughs> I think I think the one we wanted to do here was the one that says, how's everyone feeling out there tonight? And then it's, I am not feeling good. And then that would maybe be the audience like being really upset that we're here. Should we do that? Yeah. If you guys want to be in one? I don't have my phone. I can't. Never mind. <laughs> but I'll do more. Unfortunately. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's panel. Tomorrow. I, 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 by the way, yeah, yeah, five five days, someone's going to find a nerf gun for me right now. Yeah, just see how I'm shot my eye out last year. I'll do it again. Christmas. Christmas. It wasn't your eye. Your eye out, kid. It was your neck. Fragile. Must be Italian. That's as fragile, honey. <laughs> what a great movie. Well, that was a great question. Oh, no, no, no. Can I tell you guys a question? As fans. Yeah. When you come to panels, would you would you rather hear us bullshit together like this? Yeah. More than hearing questions from the audience. Because well, I always feel I always feel bad that we don't get to enough questions. Should I just not feel that way? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Everyone in line, they're not shaking. Them. All right, let's do it. All right, this next thing is called rapid fire. We're going to ask the questions very fast so more people can ask questions and we're going to answer them even faster. Here we go with question number one. Okay, we have Sean Christopher Clark here who is named after both Superman and Christopher Reeve. Nice. And how do you guys feel about Christopher Reeve being Superman? Awesome. 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 Superman, I know. Best ever. Because you are a Superman, you are Clark Kent. When people say Superman, that's what they think about. Yeah, me too. Next question. Wait, so, Sam, this is called rapid fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rapid fire. Next question. Who's next? Hey, rapid fire. Um. And that concludes our questions. Uh, Hi, everybody. Are we, You're giving everyone anxiety. Okay. Lynn wants to know what was it like for Sam and Laura working on the CW DC superhero shows. Was it like just work on the shows? Yeah. Well, I'll, you know, I'll give you an honest answer to that. It was rapid, rapid fire shows. Oh, rapid fire! Rapid fire! It was really, oh my god, it was really great, but it was also really intimidating because I wasn't replacing Michael Wilson by Michael Wilson. <laughs> and that's an honest answer, but rap. <laughs> yeah, Michael quit. He quit. He quit. No, I didn't quit. He quit. I, my contract was six years, I did seven years. That's the story, Lord and Lord. If I quit, I would have quit after five seasons. And then he came back, so what are you guys complaining about? Huh? What's the problem? Okay, this question is from Michael. What, how was your encounter with Kevin Spacey of Lex Luthers? How did you, when you encountered Kevin Spacey, did you both play Lex Luthor? What was that like? Have you had Quick Lex Luthor when you saw Kevin? Yeah, yeah, I had done a movie called Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil with him, and then later on I did this movie called Father of Invention, which was a little independent movie, and um, he was always really nice to me, and we, we kind of talked about it, he goes, he has some playing Lex Luthor. And I go, oh, great, man, that's going to be great. He's like, I go, do you want any advice? He goes, no, I think I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> Like, uh, but we never really. I just think it's great that you said to Kevin Spacey before you were in my life. I mean, it was a good house. Nowadays, I tell you what, right now, we could use some other guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Say, could have used some. That's funny, I didn't know that that cross thing was. Yeah, yeah, it was last. It was lunch. I mean, that was. Yeah. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. No, but I think all 
Let's see her character. All right. Go ahead. Wait, I have a question. This was something we were talking about yesterday. Do you pronounce it Kara or Kara? Kara. The appropriate. Kara. 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 I think there were several episodes where we were saying Kara. And it's supposed to be Lana. Yeah. Lana and Kara. <laughs> Kara. Jorel. Kara. Davis Bloom. <laughs> Uh, is there any storyline you would have changed for years? Yeah, I wouldn't have stabbed the crap out of Jimmy. I mean, that was mean. I was like, I really like Aaron Ashmore, and so suddenly I'm like, stabbing, stabbing. You know, it's like you're close to him. I'm not going to use it. Sorry. I looked at him and I go, I was swearing we were on TV. He goes, no one cares. I was like, no one cares. Sorry. You guys care? Oh, here's a story. <laughs> Rapid fire! Rapid fire! Explosive diarrhea. <laughs> the reason why he says, we were down, I think we were in Australia, we were doing this con, and they had sign language. They were sign Communicators. And he had a sport, he kept saying explosive she, diarrhea. She was doing the sign language, which is awesome. And I said diarrhea, and I just looked over, and she was like, <laughs> and So I just was compelled to keep saying diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea, diarrhea. Explosive, guys. Explosive. Here are the sign language. The sign language. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm And she's like, okay. Anyway, I had diarrhea. So she just kind of goes, That was a sign language. So as an idiot. <laughs> we got it. We got it. That was hilarious. Something that you didn't want anyone else to see. I thought it was in my It's like life. being on a segue. They're awesome, but you do not want to be seen on one. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Even though we did an episode of Lucifer where we were on one. Oh, but, I'm sorry. That's my problem. Woo! Next question. Diarrhea, diarrhea. <laughs> Rapid fire. Rapid fire, so we're Sam. Rapid fire, diarrhea. This question's for Sam. Silver Kryptonite? What was that? Silver Kryptonite? It was season five. I know you guys were yeah, Oh, here we go. Michael, what, what was it? Here's the trouble. It was season five. You got infected with the Silver Kryptonite and got all paranoid, Tom. What the heck, Michael? <laughs> Tom doesn't remember this guy over here. <laughs> I may have watched it last night. <laughs> last night? Huh? Oh. Uh, the episode. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what do you think happened? <laughs> Next question. Sorry. Talk to Tom after the show. Come up to our tables and we'll try to figure it out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of our time. Oh, come on. Two more questions. Two more questions. Two more questions. Go. Two more questions. Let's go. Okay. Rapid fire. It's for Tom, and since you were doing it for 10 years, were you ready to move on from Smallville? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's more context to that, but yes. Yes, I'm sure. By the way, Clark was done. Clark was ready to go. Like, what did you guys really want to see? Like, some boring version of them just continuing to, like, try to manipulate this show? He left with a bang. Um, I was proud of that. Sorry, go talk about that. <laughs> hey guys, we want to say thank you from uh, all of us up here. This has been a real treat. We really love you guys. Come see us at the table. Thanks for the support. The love, all the years. And we're going to have a tomorrow. We're going to look up what Silver Cup tonight was. Sam!